Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yep, this is Born Without Boundaries. Um, this is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So this is for Leo wherever it influences your life or natal chart. Uh, there's always an extended reading. Uh, you can click below and that'll take you over to a full tarot card spread that articulates and really goes into details and sort of gets all the main players on board um, from these energy readings that we start on YouTube and it includes a full romance reading as well. So if you're looking for the, uh, a weekly romance reading for Leo, that link is down below. Um, yeah, there's no dates anymore on these videos, but I upload a new Leo video every single week. So you can subscribe to the channel, which will help the channel grow, and ring that bell and you'll get notified of the videos uploading as soon as they come as soon as they're available. So <clears throat> let's go. I know my words are all kinds of like stumbling around each other. I apologize. Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. Darn. All right, Leo. Talkative, talkative. Mm. Leo energy, please. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, Leo. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, we have your crowning. Oh, maybe that's your central energy. Let's see. I don't know. Okay. Clearly, more had to come out. And that's your crowning energy. Love is all around you. This is Gemini energy. Um, you know, as the North Node slips closer and closer to Gemini, there's going to be a change in the way that we're in our ideals and you know what we're how we're challenged. And I think right now it's a challenge to communicate love, communicate affection. I don't think it's challenging for you. I think it's actually sort of what you're being pulled to do. The bell is ringing. Yeah, you have, this is your crowning energy to spread love, to spread goodwill, to share, to care. There's almost a catharsis here, a sense of if like you've wrapped up in the essence of being too wrapped up in yourself, this is almost what you're being pulled to do now. A need to just share and, and teach people how to love and encourage people to love. And uh, a call to a call to call other people to arms, a call to help, a call to assist, a call to love. It's just love is all around. And I think that that's kind of how you feel it now. This could also be a sense of feeling loved, being wrapped in love. Almost like somehow if you could like take love and put it in a diffuser that surrounded you in sort of a, a bubble, this is what that feeling is. Almost knowing, an energy of knowing and no wonder you want to share and communicate that feeling. Um, it's it's uh, it just, wow, it's just a beautiful experience. Um, this is also a sense of a feeling that I'm getting of needing to be hugged, needing to be wrapped in love, um, wrapped in love and wrapped in joy. Um, no, no, wrapped in love. Feeling connected, needing to feel connected to maybe everything. Um, I just feel like this has a bigger purpose, Leo, a sense of announcing, showing, leading people to love. Let's get into it. Um, yeah, let's get into it. This is watch your words. This is Gemini energy too. Um, nine, something wants to come out, but you're being very, very particular about the way that you say it. Um, yeah. This could also be an, uh, a need uh, or, or being sick of having to say, being sick of feeling like you have to say what people want you to say, like the words that people put in your mouth and being done with them. Like they're garbage and you're tired of, you're tired of assuming that role. You're tired of saying kind of what you think needs to be said. You want to say what's on your mind. You, you have your own words now that want to come out. Life is a mystery. So life is unknown. This is energy eight. Destiny is unknown. Fate is unknown. The future is yet to be written. 
Um, but what you are certain of is now, and that's why there's so much Gemini energy here. Air energy is all about being in the present. The future is, it, it's almost like, um, hold on, um, a sense of, um, Maybe things being in disguise too. Things, something being disguised, something being, um, it's, it's dis but it's not intentional. It's not maliciously disguised. It's yet unknown. It's disguised. Like what's going to happen and what's important. The future is disguised. You still can't see it yet. It's not clear. It hasn't been, it hasn't been determined. Co-create with spirit. This is more energy of eight. So destiny and fate, um, divine timing, and also coming out of the dark. It's almost like it's, it's something is becoming very, very clear to you. So through spiritual awakening and spiritual connection, there is a sense of direction being guided by faith and faith alone. You know, I almost feel like there is a sense of... Um, having a relationship with something, somebody in the spirit world, in a sense, like you, you, you can feel it, but you can't touch it. You know, it exists and you can speak of it and it inspires you. And it's through that inspiration, um, that you actually connect with it tangibly. But aside from that, it's ephemeral. It's hard to describe. And it's, it's, um, it's not palpable. It's, it's not tangible right? So it's just something that you have to have faith in. So this is something that could be an idea, a new idea that you've had, or a new goal that you have, or a new inspiration or direction that you've taken, and you're not really sure why. Well, I think you're sure why. I think you're sure why you want to go in this direction, Leo, but I don't, um, I know that you don't know where it's going to lead you, but I think that you know that it's not important where it's going to lead you. What's important is that you get on the path. Um, this is act as if chameleon blending in. This is the central energy, your central energy of blending in or shedding your skin, shedding, shedding, um, the skin of what you pretended to be. Um, but this is usually a sense of trying to blend in, trying to maybe, okay, this could maybe empathize with people trying to understand their perspective by living in it. <laughs> almost like undercover boss, that kind of stuff. It's almost like that. Like um, ex trying to feel what other people feel by experiencing what they're going through. But as a result, it's almost like you're shedding the the, the skin that you thought was necessary to wear. This, in other words, there's a growth here. There's an expansion. It's a change of what you, it's, it's a change in what you feel you have to project outwardly. Um, be loyal to what you love. This is a uh, Cancerian energy, unconditional love. Um, being guided by uh, unconditional love, some somebody or something. The feeling of there's love all around here. There's just a sense of of oh my god, just overwhelming love, and something that you would never question. Like you, there's so much certainty in you right now. This feeling of being surrounded by maybe people who love you unconditionally, um, somebody who is extremely loyal to you, somebody who would never let you down and cares about you regardless. Um, yeah, their energy is all around you. Uh, they're, they're in, their energy is all around you. Um, this is pain, a suffering, maybe a loss or an illness or a sickness that has happened. Um, maybe somebody in your life who was very important to you, uh, a time to heal, a sense of a poison. Um, maybe something happened to poison this unconditional love. Um, or poison um, 10, the energy of 10, two energies of 10, 10, 10. I think it's unconditional love that's healing poison in your life. That's what I think. Uh, claim your independence. It's almost like being reminded of how unconditional love feels so that you can understand where you went off track. And it's that run in with that unconditional love that gets you back on track. And this is the energy of, of landing on your feet, of being able to get through this okay. That it's going to be all right 
being lice, being malleable, and claiming your independence. Mm -hmm. Take time out. You need a break. This is the energy of, of spirit watching over you so that you can relax, sort of getting in your face and forcing you to see. It's like getting in your face and forcing you to see your own shit. That's what it is. But it's for the reason of you need to take a break from what's, what's clogging your arteries, from what, what's harming your life. That, that it needs it needs to be be put away be just oh my god I can't even find words it's just like get it away focus on what's important this is your grounding energy Leo and then turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace this is like a mama bear energy Mama bear energy, something that is coming out, coming to a finish, coming to a conclusion, something that's like on the chopping block, sacrificed its full self for you or feeling of the energy of, of, of complete and total sacrifice and unconditional love. It's almost like somebody giving their life for you or to you is your grounding energy. Set healthy boundaries to teach you how to love yourself and respect yourself. Somebody's putting themselves on a chopping block for you, Leo, to teach you how to love and respect yourself or to remind you how to love and respect yourself. And I know this is like, oh, but Leo's always know how to bullshit, bullshit. This is emotions. This is really heavy, burdensome shit that you're going through right now. You may have, you just may, you just... You may be given your full self to some, like, it's like you're giving your full self to a situation and not regarding how that's affecting you or impacting you. So it's like, it's almost like this grounding energy is, it's almost like this grounding energy is, it's a reminder to balance you out. It's like you've been given too much of yourself. And there's this energy coming in to like knock you on your ass to stop you from doing it. Right? And to change you and, and make you realize. It's almost like it's like you've been taking on so many responsibilities and and like like almost like being food for people. And there's this sense of like, wake up, stop doing it. Or you're not being holy, you're not being healthy. There's a sense of a misuse of your strength and your power. Like, and maybe this energy has held you down in the past, but now, Leo, it's sort of like... It's getting in your way. There's a part of you that you just want to shed. That's why your central energy is this. It's like you're you're you you're ready, and I think this is strange, but it's like you may have worked really hard to build this, but now you're ready to like give it all up and shed it. You know, like somebody would shed their worldly possessions when they join into a monastery type of thing. That's almost what's happening to you. Not that you're actually joining a monastery, but that your life is becoming much more spiritual. There's a much more spiritual need or sense of growth in you right now to really connect yourself and share and give um, because it's the only way to heal. It's the only way to land on your feet. There may have been a severe loss in your life. There may have been a um, almost like something that threw you off so far that you're like, I don't know. I don't know which direction I'm going to go now. Watch what you say. Because you're headed into unknown territory. It's like, don't say no. That's what I heard. Don't say no. Don't refuse this spiritual direction. There may be a little bit of resistance here because of how you fit in and what you've grown comfortable with. There may be resistance. But Leo, 
the, the change was a sign that this is the detour in your life. And it's almost like you really needed, you really needed that unconditional love to sort of heal, who, heal you, help you. This could be somebody, somebody like just helping you, surrounding you with love, helping you through a really hard time. But it's not necessarily relationship. It's just, it's just, it's just like them showing up at just the right time, like Ricky Ticky Tabby. I know, I know this isn't a mongoose, but like Ricky Tibby, Ticky Tabby defending against the fucking cobra. You know what I'm saying? It's like showing up at just the right time to heal you and help you heal and make sure that you're defended and protected and can go about your business. It's like you just got saved. Je Jesus just saved your life. I just felt a breeze. Weird. But that's what it is. It's a sense of somebody just came in and saved your life. And they might have done it by sacrificing themselves. And it's almost like you know this. And that's where your sense of obligation of is like, oh, I have to, the only way I can honor what they did for me is to put, pay it forward and find a way to live in their example. Really, like, oh, 623, happy birthday, Doug Denny. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see the cards I'm looking at. So... This, this is act as if it's almost like you're trying to put on somebody else's skin. And the reason why you're doing it is because it's the only way you could not miss them. Right. And there is this, this wonderful sense of transforming yourself in the image of somebody who, um, inspires you. Um, but it's like, it's also like particularly being a little bit hesitant in terms, well, like, like you don't know, you're just, you're just, this is all new for you. I feel like this is sudden change. Like, like literally a, a mystery. Like this came out of the blue, but you just know that it needs to happen. This is communication and love. Communicating love is your crowning energy. That's that's what your your that's what your purpose is. And grounding your energy is self-sacrifice. Shedding the old colorful skin for a, a mantle of service. And I think it's to live in the image of somebody else. This is really interesting. I've got to go into it deeper with tarot. Please join me. And then also your romance reading is there too. The link is below, Leo. I hope to see you guys over there.